Please be seated. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today's lunch is pizza breadsticks or hot dog. Side items include baby carrots, baked beans, and assorted fruit. Now let's go to Mrs. Keltner and Dr. Poole for a few announcements. Good, Good morning, morning Trailblazers. Trailblazers. Happy Wednesday. Wednesday. Another muggy, rainy yeah. day out there. But I it hope there's is. a lot of sunshine going on in here. We have sunshine, <laughs> lots of sunshine, but we don't have a birthday today. Oh, okay. You know, but like I said, we still have lots of sunshine. And let's lots get that sunshine to shine. Right. We have celebrations coming from Mrs. Morris's class. We have Trent Blanton, who's hey, master's Trent. in multiplication flat, facts. Excuse me. Sarah Benson and Sakari Human, who's hey, also Sarah, mastered their so multiplication facts. Ooh, From ooh. Mrs. Saad's class, we have Michael Sanderson, go, Russell Scalepi, All and right, both of them have mastered their addition facts. Way to go. And from Mrs. Hurst's class, we have a Ashton P., and he's mastered his addition go, facts. Ashton. From Mrs. David's class, we have Ethan. And Good Emily R. Ethan has Ooh. mastered his subtraction facts, and Emily has mastered her multiplication facts. Oh, wow. And Way still from Mrs. Davis's class, we have Davion F., who's mastered his subtraction Good facts. Job, Davion. Now, coming from Mrs. Hartfield's class, we have Anthony B., who has mastered his addition facts. Hello, Anthony. From Mrs. Hartsfield's class, again, we have Caleb, and he's mastered his job, subtraction facts as well. And we have a different one now. We are oh. celebrating uh, from the Imaginate uh, tool that we use with our ELL program. We're celebrating oh. with Selvin. And Way Selvin go, has Selvin. mastered 73 activities that he's completed. Oh. And he's read five books. He's increased 16 uh, vocabulary words and 13 sight words. And that's a big achievement in Ooh, ELL no Imagine Program. Way to go, Selvin. So Good job. Keep you. up the great work, boys and girls. You are doing an awesome Definitely. job. As many of you are aware, as we change pages here, that this is uh, Breast Cancer Awel Awareness Month. Uh, and October uh, is the time when we have an annual campaign that's used to raise awareness about the impact of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an effort to raise awareness and reduce the stigma of breast cancer through education on symptoms and treatment. And so once a week, I will share a fact on our breast cancer and the effort to heighten our awareness. Very good. And we're going to go pink here at DeSoto Trail and throughout, uh, I believe, Leon County Schools on Friday, October 22nd. 22nd. So start mm -hmm. planning that bright right. pink outfit for that day. All right. I want to give a shout out to Dion Lyons today. Her oh, friend Dion. Abigail turned in and said that um, Dion helps clean up and do safety patrols even when it's not her shift. That she feels ah. so good about, you know, trying to help the school stay clean and keep her friends and uh, peers safe. So mm -hmm. shout out to Dion. Thank you. All right, to way Abigail to go, Dion. Dion. Sending that out. Just a reminder: if you want to participate in the run at the FSU Invitational that's coming up October fifteenth, you've got to have your parents reach out to Coach Dougherty. Right. Send them an email. Send him an email to let him know that you want to participate. That deadline is this Friday. All right, and good. let's see, none of the required. So to continue our disability awareness, I want to go over some descriptions and definitions so we understand what we're talking about when we talk about disability awareness. So a disability is a condition due to sickness or injury that prevents a person from doing normal daily activities. A disability may be partial or total or temporary or permanent as verified by a doctor. And awareness means you have a knowledge of that disability. And so becoming aware and knowledgeable of the many areas of disability, such as its definition, the different types of disabilities, and the history of, dis of the disability movement, one should interact with the disability person with a disability a little more comfortably right. and so disabilities can be physical mental so sometimes you may not see um, a person's disability and so we're going to talk about just um, 
how to treat them right. as normal people. Feel, you know, yes. they have abilities too. And so we're going to talk about that more throughout the month. Our history, Hispanic Heritage History Month continues. And we're going to talk about Pensacola. Okay. Um, and it's one of Florida's oldest cities also. And it, so when you go over there, explore its Spanish colonial past of historical sites, such as Fort Baronicus, I think is how that's pronounced. Um, it was built by the Spanish around 1797. It overlooks Pensacola Bay. And then 1698 era of Presidio Santa Maria del Gave, which is a Spanish frontier settlement that was the first in northwest Florida over there near the Pensacola region. So I have not been to that particular fort. Have you, Dr. Poole, no, by I any haven't. chance? I've I only been not. to Pensacola a few not. times. But next time I'm fact. over there, I think I'm going to explore that. Oh, I like that fact, all right. yes. Those mm -hmm. are all the announcements we have today. Are we ready, Trailblazers? Are we ready? All right. That's, That's it, it for today's, today's edition of WBTS. WBTS. Make, Make today's, today's mission possible by building your bridge to success. success. Bye. Bye.